my darlings. This is take three. Apparently my bigger computer, which I know is dying, has decided now it can't hold a camera for more than five minutes. Ah! Anyway, this is not a one song concert, this is a message. To someone I met today who confided in me that her hands were messed up from maybe doing too much in life. And uh, she's not the first person to tell me this sad tale of woe. And it is a very sad tale of woe. So I'm going to tell you a story because that's how my people who think like me relate and pass information. And that's just how it is. And I'm going to pass on some information for you. And I hope it helps you. So if you truly do find my Instagram today or tomorrow and you come to this video from my Instagram, this is for you and other people in your situation who may or may not find some hope or help. So let me start with telling you, my hands are foobard. You can tell, you can tell. I'm white. No, I'm joking. Okay, we're gonna pass that one over. <laughs> I'm joking, but people do think I'm alive. I'm white. Mm -mm. And I was raised traditionally in that uh, we were shrimpers, and about age five up, I helped my dad. I mended his nets. I probably could have woven a net from scratch. I actually contemplated doing it. Crab traps, you yes, making them crab traps, which involves weaving. Uh, cages, cages for my mice, typing. I had been typing since about age seven when my parents brought home a typewriter. I was so fast at typing that I had an employer consider sending me to, believe it or not, there used to be typing races. I typed, I typed over 180 words per minute. Um, always have just busy hands and even now I had to train myself to sleep like this with my hand under a pillow to keep my hand from doing like that at night. My hands very gimpy. And people didn't understand that because it's one of those invisible illnesses and of course being and it was the kind that you didn't get diagnosed because probably not carpal tunnel and stuff like well there might be some arthritis involved. I mean my pinky but it's certainly not your problem if you have you know, a different problem in life. But it, it is gimpiness, you know, like for example, I still tend to drop things. Uh, but you see me sitting here and I'm finger picking. The problem with hands like this, especially when you don't really recognize something's going on until later in life, because that's how it works, is if you're very musical. And I came from a very musical family. My mother, my grandmother played on the radio. She was with a little band called the Kentucky Sweethearts during the Depression. My dad worked with Dolly Parton briefly. Mind you, he was a backstage hand, nothing famous. Claimed he knew Elvis. <laughs> they apparently used to work on the dock together briefly before they, he, Elvis got famous. Hated that because uh, Elvis apparently had given him his first a uh, copy of his first 45 and the dumbass gave it to a girl. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> like father, like daughter. <laughs> and um, I don't know about other countries, so I'm going to speak specifically for America. One thing about the American musical popular subculture, not classical music, is uh, there's this underlying theme that if you are musical and you want to do music, eh, eh, bad kitty, and stop your cat from clawing your wall, is people have this idea that in order to rock out, honest to God, to rock out or do anything more mainstream sounding, you have to know guitar. And nothing's good unless the guitar, nothing rocks except guitars. Drums, it's like people take drums for granted, you know. No, it has to be guitar or nothing. And here I sit with a ukulele. I had guitar shoved in my face so much, guys. So much. But I couldn't do it. Still can't do it. I've stopped trying. And I thought I'll never be able to do guitar. 
And I had people who didn't understand the pain in my hands, because if I, if I do this too much, it will hurt a lot. Um, not accept that I was hurting and say bullshit. Well, I'm not telling you bullshit. I'm not taking that very ignorant track. I am telling you, however, that there are options if you're willing to get around the options. And it might mean only picking up your guitar once or twice and then going to the other options. It might mean never picking up your guitar again because you, you know. Or it might mean you'll be able to build up to something similar like I did. Now, I'm not saying this up. Uh, the person I met today was arthritis, and I'm not going to speak for arthritis. Arthritis is my family. I know arthritis can be debilitating. When I stopped listening to the people talk about how I was either too old or, you know, this and that or, or a million reasons, or to myself because I believed the, the mainstream media of how I was too old or something, I started looking around, what instrument can I do? Well, I'll just do acapella, and I did. My most popular song, which I don't have many, is acapella with a little bit of drum that I had someone else play. And then one day I discovered there was such a thing as, do, 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 and understand, I'm not musically trained. Let me tell you my musical training real quick. My grandmother, my, my, my radio grandmother. This the poor man's G. That was my musical training. Everything else was self-taught because I took music out of my school in third grade. And I wanted to join band in junior high, and my mother was against it, so I got stuck into art because, let you know, I doodled in my textbooks, so this meant that I should have been an artist when truly, um, as a uh, bard friend of mine has recognized, no, I really needed to be in music. Her words are, was, my soul was made of music. I discovered the auto harp, guys. Now, this auto harp was not in tune. I just got it uh, right right when my mother passed away, so I haven't really had time to uh, try to tune it to see if these strings are going to snap in my face, which they will. Um, and I'm going to start with, oh, the auto harp, really, but it's not a guitar. No, no, I'm not. And there are people out there, usually guitar players, who will put auto harp playing down. They do not understand it. They are very ignorant about it. I have stood in a guitar shop looking for something I needed for my auto harp, trying to find um, something I needed, and had a guy put down auto harp playing because, don't you know, with an auto harp, you can just pick it up and strum it, and you're on your way, and, and that's just not respect respectable. There are auto harp tournament tournaments. So if you ever doubt that an auto harp is not a professional grade amazing instrument, look up the champions and listen to them play. There is a uh, rather popular Celtic, Celtic, uh, filky uh, musician, um, Mark Gunn, M-A-R-C-G-U-N-N. Listen to him play and his music. He doesn't play no guitar. There be no guitar. Um, yes, they are a quick start instrument. Like here's my G minor, and if this was in tune, which it's not, it would be. But there's ways that yeah, it sounded pretty terrible, right? Picture first, ring, and you would go, and there's plucking. You can go A B C D depending on where you put it. You can pick out tunes. Um, there's the flourish. There's a lot, and. Uh, what I love about the auto harp, otherwise known as the corded zither, that's its actual name. Auto harp is actually the uh, brand name for Oscar Schmidt. It's, but it's kind of like Lego and uh, Kool Aid. It's become like what people say. It's um, it's an actual American instrument. I mean, yes, it's got its roots in uh, zithers in Germany, but these guys were invented in America in the 1900s. They are our instrument. I love my auto harp and I have to get some new strings for you. This one's old. This one comes from probably around the 50s or 60s. There's a lot of history. But anyway, I fear we get to the part point where you cannot pick and strum a guitar and hold down those chords. This is an amazing way 
to incorporate and keep playing music because you don't have to be fancy, although it helps, but you don't have to be fancy and there's ways to get around it and it's good for your hands. So in my case, when I discovered this, I was all over the place. My first badly recorded album uh, has auto harp in it. It's very badly recorded, so I don't recommend it. And it was my stepping stone. And then uh, I started doing things for my hands. I massage my hands regularly now because in my case, it's not arthritis. So I'm not telling you, oh, massage will help. No, I'm telling you that for me, it was my stepping stone to reclaim what I feel was my birthright that uh, life had said <laughs> to. Uh, for someone whose hands make guitar playing difficult, this might be a way to uh, reclaim some of your music back and at least express yourself in private once in a while, if nothing else. The only thing is, guys, lose the ears with the outer harp. I only know of three in this country, and I wanted to be number four. Maybe someday I will be. I, that's why I have a lot of outer harps. They're all broken because I'm wanting to learn how to fix them. Now, because I'm gimpy and not musically trained, and I've got all these songs in my head, and many of them have violin. Actually, violin is usually the first instrument to play in my head. Because when I was, a, I guess, because I, just, I don't know. When I was a kid, that was the instrument I wanted to learn, but again, my mom did do. So I have an answer for that, too, to get around it. Which I can't play yet, because I'm concentrating strictly on the ukulele at this time. This, my darlings is a bow to sultry. I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to try. Well, <laughs> not as versatile as a violin, but for my purposes, when I get to where I can do it, I'm pretty sure I can adapt this little darling. Uh, it's close enough that my violin playing brother who uh, is mentally disabled. Um, I stood outside his bedroom door and did like this, and he comes rushing out to see where the violin was. Oh, I am looking forward to this song. I've got plan for you, my darling. My darling. So, uh, what I'm saying is that there are ways so when someone tells you bullshit, just give them a look and start looking around. There is a excellent folk goth band called The Dead South that I am just loving on their music. And they are they play their stuff with a freaking banjo. I know they have guitar, but mm, 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 mm. you don't have to have guitar. Now, am I telling you to dump the guitar? God, no. Not if you don't have to yet. What I'm telling you is there are ways to ease. If you're like me and the music builds up to the point that you'd be like going to the store you haven't played or practiced in a long time and you're hearing music in your head because it's just steaming like a kettle, there are ways. There are just ways, period. Now, I love adding auto harp to my arrangements. I haven't been doing it lately because I have been uh, concentrating on the ukulele, which is the last part of my little thing. The ukulele. Now, you might have re uh, remember that I had mentioned that my hands were gimpy and everybody seemed to think that uh, guitar is the only way to go. Blah, blah, blah. I stumbled across a folk single singer, Kari Martin, who did uh, Everybody Hates Elves and some other stuff, and she only used the ukulele. But her stuff was rocking and amazing, and I said to myself, the ukulele's only got four strings, and I didn't know what was wrong about why I couldn't play guitar yet, and I thought, my hands are doing better, I will give the ukulele a try, I did some research, because I was worried about having sore fingertips, because I've got sensitive fingers, and so that's why I got a ukulele, I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about the problem with the inside of my hands here, I was thinking of avoiding, <laughs> I was being a wimp, <laughs> and I got uh, my first uh, ukulele whose name is tambourine because he's green you have to figure that out for yourself this uh, tambourine's name is plan B <laughs> and uh, this isn't a tambourine <laughs> this ukulele's name is plan B 
and uh, I started playing, kind of half expecting to fail at it, and discovered, wait, I can I can do this and it's not hurting my hand, and I thought it was the length, that it was, because this is a concert ukulele, uh, they're a little bigger than what you normally see, with the, normally you see the soprano ukulele, but this is a concert ukulele, and I thought I must be the placement of my hand for the longest time, and then um, I picked up a, a small guitar passed up about a year or two ago, and because uh, you can put a capo on the fifth fret of a guitar and play ukulele, and uh, discovered no, it was still hurting me. It's not the length; it's how many strings. It's how I was having to stretch my hand. I can't do it without ooh, a lot of pain, and uh, so I started working my hands doing stuff to make them limber. When I picked up ukulele and realized that I could do guitar with ukulele, I shot off like a rocket. And so I was already getting some of the songs in my head out thanks to the uh, auto harp. But with the ukulele, whenever I got the basic easy chords down, it became just so much easier. I'm not telling you to try the ukulele. But for me, the auto harp opened up the door for me to realize, oh, people are trying to fit me into a mold with an instrument that isn't going to work out because of my gifted hands, and there are other ways. And so what I'm telling you is, there are other ways, even if it's just beating a drum with your toe, there are ways. And you've completely got my support. Even if you decide that you have to walk away and you're okay with that, you've got my support. But I really would much rather support your musical spirit and keep you going. Now I'm going to give the other people on my channel, because this is 21 minutes, a taste of what I'm working on for my next one song concert. No, you're not going to get the whole song. tenor trying to remember how to play this and I forgot how to play the tenor. <laughs> That's a story for another day. Um, also, shout out to the people who uh, recently followed me on my channel. Wow, thank you guys. I'm so flattered and I hope to, uh, uh, with each one song concert, give more information as I learn more about the ukulele and we can all learn together. Alright, I'm going to shut up now. I'll probably edit that in now too. Oh, I'm grabbing the mouse for the other computer to stop this. How smart is that? <laughs>